Scenario. A cart of mass M slides along a frictionless horizontal track with a kinetic energy Ki. It collides with a stationary cart of mass 2M, and the two carts stick together and slides with a total kinetic energy. Question. What is the ratio of Kf to Ki? That just means what is the ratio of the kinetic energy final of the initial kinetic energy? The answer. We'll start by looking at the conservation of momentum. The initial momentum is equal to the final momentum. This is the equation for conservation of a perfectly inelastic collision because here the two masses get stuck together. Notice M2 V2I is equal to zero because the object was stationary. Now we can add things together so the mass becomes 3M. Now we can divide mass to both sides, leaving you with V1I equals to 3VF. This translates to velocity of the first car initial is equal to 3 times the final velocity. This means that the ratio of the kinetic energy final of kinetic energy initial is 1 of 3, which translates to the kinetic energy final is one-third the kinetic energy initial. The reason why kinetic energy final is one-third that of the original is because the K final scenario is when the object has more mass. That, it, that should explain why the kinetic energy is less in the final scenario.